Attention, these masks will in no way physically protect the wearer against the COVID-19 virus. However, as of April 6, it has been announced by the Chief Public Health Officer of Canada, Dr. Theresa Tam, that non-medical masks could and should be worn in areas where social distancing may be more difficult, such as grocery stores and elevators. At the same time, it was also announced that the coronavirus can spread both before you are symptomatic as well as if you never end up showing symptoms at all, which would make you a carrier or a vector. Therefore, although these masks will not protect the wearer from contracting the virus, it does protect others from your respiratory particles and droplets by keeping them to yourself and preventing you from unknowingly infecting someone else. Moreover, these masks also serve as a physical reminder for you to not touch your face by covering both your mouth and your nose. These masks should not be used in lieu of social distancing and exceptional hand hygiene, but instead used as an extra precaution alongside them. All right, so that was the warning in English. Now it's time to hear it again in French for all of my French-speaking friends out there. I live here in Canada, so we are bilingual. Faites attention, ces masques ne vont pas vous protéger physiquement contre le virus de COVID-19. Cependant, depuis le 6 avril, c'était annoncé par le chef de la santé publique officielle du Canada, Dr. Theresa Tam, que des masques non médicaux peuvent et devraient être portés dans des endroits comme les épiceries et les ascenseurs car c'est plus difficile de faire l'éloignement social. C'était aussi annoncé que COVID-19 peut propage avant que vous montreriez des symptômes et même si vous ne démontrez pas les symptômes. Donc, malgré que ces masques ne protègent pas le porteur de contracter le virus quand même, ça protège les autres de vos particules respiratoires ce qui vous prévenait de l'infecter quelqu'un d'autre. En outre, ces masques servent le rappel physique de s'arrêter de toucher votre visage en couvrant à la voix votre bouche et votre nez. Ces masques ne doivent pas être utilisés au lieu de l'éloignement social, mais plutôt comme une précaution supplémentaire. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, also known as Certified Winner, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an Olsen mask that comes with a filter pocket. So before we actually get into this video, I want to address the beginning of my video and the little blurb and warning that came before my regular intro. And I want to make it very clear that these homemade masks will in no way physically protect you from the novel coronavirus. It's really important that these masks are used alongside things like social distancing and exceptional hand hygiene and not used in lieu of it. With all of this said, I will also have links down in my description box where you can get credible information that might ease your nerves a little bit. Now that we've gone over all of the serious stuff, let's get on to the funner bit of this video. So this is the mask I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make today. It is super simple and it covers the nose and the mouth to prevent you from touching your face and it keeps all your germs to yourself. What you're going to need is a square piece of fabric. Mine wasn't very big. It was literally a bandana that I found laying around my house that I bought like way back in 2012 when I wore bandanas all the time. I recommend a breathable fabric just like cotton and I also recommend one that doesn't stretch. The reason for this is because when you're sewing it can get a little difficult as well as when you're tracing the templates and cutting everything out because stretchy fabrics tend to move on you a lot more but if that's all you have you can absolutely go for that as well. You are going to need a pair of scissors to cut out the templates as well as a threaded needle to sew everything together. You don't need to use a sewing machine. I personally don't know how to use a sewing machine but I do know how to sew by hand so I did that instead. You're also going to need two hair elastics to act as the earpieces, as well as these templates, which you can actually find in a link below in my description box. I think that's all the general information you guys are going to need for now, so let's get into actually making this mask. The first thing you're going to want to do is lay the template pieces out on your fabric to make sure you have enough fabric to actually make the mask. After you've made sure you have enough fabric for all of the pieces, you're going to want to trace around them and cut each one of them out. So this means you're going to have two mouth pieces, two cheek pieces, and two face pieces. 
place the two face pieces together just like this to ensure that the two sides that will be facing outside are touching. Next, we will want to sew the curved end of the face pieces together. So this is side three on your face template. Make a hem on side five of the mouthpiece. This is the side that has absolutely no curves and is completely flat. Next, we are going to do the exact same thing on side six of the cheek piece. We're going to make a nice hem along the flat edge. Overlap the mouthpiece on top of the cheek piece towards the dotted line on the cheek template labeled 7. This will create a similar silhouette to the face piece. Next, sew along sides 1 and 2 where the fabrics overlap to make them into one piece. Flap 7 will be where you can insert a filter. Place the conjoined mouth and cheek pieces on one another the same way we did with the face pieces and sew along the curved edge labeled 1 on the mouthpiece making sure that the outsides are facing each other. Place the two sides of the mask together with the outside faces touching each other. Next, sew the perimeter of the mask, but do not sew one of the ends shut. We will be using this unsewn end to pull the mask right side out. Curl the ends of the unsewn edge inwards and sew along this line to close up your mask. Pin a hair tie in place to create the ear pieces and make sure that the mask fits your face. Adjust accordingly before sewing it down. And there you have it! Alright, so that wraps up today's video. So I realized I did forget to show you guys, so this would be the mask. And these two pieces right here would be where you would put the filter in. So the flap just kind of comes out just like this. You slip the filter in there, and then this part goes on your face. This is the mask. I hope you guys like it. I think it can be really, really cute and a little bit of a fun way to go through this quarantine and pandemic. I really hope you guys learned a little something something from this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what you would want to see next. I do release videos every single Wednesday, so please subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye!